Καλησπέρα. Καλώ ήρθατε στο 8ο Φεστιβάλ Πρωτοποριακού Κινηματογράφου τη Αθήνα και στην προβολή τη ταινία Speak, το οποίο η ταινία περιλαμβάνεται στο αφιέρωμα ε, για το νέο ρεύμα των ε, γερμανών σκηνοθετών. Ε, θα ήθελα να ευχαριστήσω το Γκέτε και να πω ότι αυτή, αυτό το αφιέρωμα δεν θα ήταν δυνατό χωρί τη βοήθειά του και ιδιαίτερα τη Σοφία του Μιχαηλίδου που είναι εδώ μαζί μα. Αλλά έχουμε την τιμή να έχουμε μαζί μα και το σκηνοθέτη τη ταινία Πικ, Χάνε Λάγκ. Θα είναι μαζί μα ε, για ένα κοινό μετά το τέλο τη προβολή. Αλλά ίσω δύο λόγια να το ξεκινήσουμε. Με δύο words before we begin. Maybe we should like to say something. Yeah. So, um, hello to everybody. It's uh, nice being here. Interesting for me to also having a screening in a place far away from the Alps. So I'm, I'm hopeful, or I hope that you will enjoy the screening that we will have afterwards. We will be here. Maybe there are some questions. I would like to answer them, or maybe we can also talk in general about what it means or what, what a topic about the topic of the movie and have a nice time afterwards too and hope you will have a nice screening. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your wonderful film and thank you for coming. It's a pleasure. Um, I'm, always, I'm always starting the questions in Kine, so I'm going to go ahead and what triggered the idea for, for this film? So uh, this was my first feature movie and um, the movie before was uh, about, um, so maybe before I start with, the, uh, with answering your question, I'm from this area, so I'm connected really strong to this place. Πριν να απαντήσω στην ερώτηση, ε, κατάγομαι από αυτή την περιοχή, οπότε είμαι πολύ στενά συνδεδεμένο με αυτή. And uh, the, uh, the movie before was about a small, uh, a small town uh, in uh, Washington State, in the United States, and uh, they had a big problem because the industry moved away and they were um, forced to invent something to have some income and they decided to uh, change the architecture and they had no uh, no connection to Germany or Bavaria and they changed everything to uh, Bavarian style to survive and um, the, I made a movie about this and uh, as, uh, <laughs> και οι άνθρωποι εκεί για να επιβιώσουν κατά κάποιο τρόπο οι Γερμανοί χτίσανε το περιβάλλον τους στυλ Βαβαρίας. And um, uh, I'm from a really touristy town too, so I'm uh, a victim. And uh, from tourism, and I was always uh, probably a, a victim. Ah, victim. Yeah, and uh, probably tourism made me made uh, out of me what I am today and then I, but uh, I realized okay there's uh, I would like to go uh, um, a level further and uh, not just see how a little town get changed but uh, a whole area and landscape and that's how I decided to make the movie about the arms because you can see it there really strongly in all these different constructions <laughs> τουρισμού και οπότε θέλησα να κάνω μια ταινία όχι για μια μικρή περιοχή αλλά για την ευρύτερη περιοχή των Άλπαιων και πώς ο, ο τουρισμός στην Αλωτριώνη. And, and making a movie about uh, landscape, um, well, this, uh, this movie has a lot, uh, many images are just landscapes and you see how people, or you see the consequences of the decisions of people and it reveals a lot of the contemporary situation of this of this country, of environment, of politics, of uh, cap uh, capitalism, and what what money makes, and and how money makes uh, landscape. Αυτή την ταινία έχει πολλά τοπία και σε αυτά τα τοπία φαίνονται συνέπειες των αποφάσεων που παίρνουν οι άνθρωποι σε επίπεδο πολιτικής καπιταλισμού. Can you tell us a little bit the process, the, the way that you worked uh, during the production of the, of the film? Well, uh, 
So I uh, I lived in um, uh, uh, in that time and also now uh, I live in Cologne in Germany, and uh, that's pretty much uh, um, it's more or less 800 kilometers. So I was driving from the city to the Alps uh, often, and that was the research was more or less uh, uh, a time of uh, eight months. So if you put everything together, but in in a in a in a, in a let's say in one year research and then uh, in one year we were sh or we started shooting in May and we ended in January and we had several blocks where of course there were uh, many uh, so many many things we wanted to film there was a specific day we had to be exactly an and this day and this time there so um, that makes things easier uh, although um, I know I already switched to the uh, filming part and that, uh, and I already left behind the research. But um, uh, research and filming was always um, we had. It was problematic because we uh, we had the same problem uh, problem problems as the people uh, which they lived there. We, uh, we were always depending on the weather situation. So. <laughs> Ε, περίπου 800 χιλιόμετρα μακριά, οπότε οδηγούσα ε, στις Άλπεις. Ε, ε, η, η έρευνα ήταν περίπου 8 μήνες και το γύρισμα συνολικά ένα χρόνο όπου ε, αντιμετωπίζαμε τα ίδια προβλήματα που είχαν και οι κάτοικοι εκεί πέρα, δηλαδή τα προβλήματα του καιρού και για κάποια γυρίσματα έπρεπε να είμαστε και συγκεκριμένε μέρες και ώρες. And uh, I would like this. There was some person who, during the screening, there came some person. I didn't know that she is here. It was totally surprised. I thought she's a ghost, but she's not. There's Agatha. Please, Agatha, stand one time up. One time. One time. And she worked. She, she was collaborating with me in this movie. And uh, I don't know why, but I didn't ask her. She didn't tell me why, but she's now here. And that, that makes me happy. <laughs> Uh, I would like to add something because uh, if we, uh, if I just say that uh, it's uh, it was a movie about uh, changing the landscape and how people try to survive, that's 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 one part. But of course, um, the uh, the main focus for me, or one, there are uh, several focuses or topics in this movie where uh, which. Um, really interesting for me, or I hope also for the audience. Uh, so what, this other part is what do, um, it's really uh, absurd because people who make, uh, uh, hot, uh, spend the holidays there, they are enjoying, at least in their mind, uh, pure nature, just freedom. They have, uh, you have this, uh, this, uh, this postcard motifs all the time, you know, mountains, snow, uh, blue, uh, blue sky, white, uh, white, white snow and white fields or slopes, whatever. And um, that's true if you eliminate all the infrastructure. And that's true if you forget that they had to build a huge, uh, a huge pool where they can collect the water or uh, if you forget that every night um, uh, in the Alps there, there are, to be honest, I don't know exactly how many kilometers. I would say something about 20,000 kilometers, which were uh, uh, prepared every night. Every night, 20,000 kilometers get, uh, get prepared by the uh, snow uh, snowball mobiles. And there's so much, uh, a big effort to, to recreate something where somebody believes that he can find it and this was really uh, a topic i like where you have a um, big uh, disconnection between reality and that what people uh, wanna enjoy so i think that's something where it gets it starts in to become interesting um, although i like observation of uh, machines and constructions too but that's the point where i wanted to come Φυσικά το ένα σημείο εστίαση είναι πόσο ο άνθρωπο επιδρά στο ε, τοπίο, αλλά και ένα άλλο σημείο εστίαση μέσα από τα πολλά που με ενδιαφέραν ήταν ότι αυτοί οι άνθρωποι που ε, κάνανε σκι και αναψυχή 
ε, και απολαμβάναν, ε, υποτίθεται ένα φυσικό τοπίο, ήταν πολύ αποσυνδεδεμένοι ε, με την υποδομή και το πώς κατασκευάζεται, για παράδειγμα, 25.000 χιλιόμετρα ε, χιόνι πίστας και πώς ε, θεωρούν ότι αυτό είναι κάτι φυσικό. Οπότε με, με, με ενδιαφέρει πολύ αυτή η αποσύνδεση της ε, πραγματικότητας και αυτό που αισθανόντουσα. Miss, congratulations. Uh, I really enjoyed your film. Uh, although it's not, it, it's a really uh, ecological film, a film of setting as priority uh, global warming and, and its impact, but it's done not by preaching, but in a, in a sort of honest and, and wonderful way. Um, I was a, a really, it was very good the way the response for all this system uh, makes this comment. Well, we should not exaggerate when really the whole thing has been blown to pieces to create this uh, artificial snow industry. And, and he sort of advises not to worry. I mean, he, he's in denial, as are uh, a lot of politicians uh, in the States and in other European Union countries. So this, this was, a, 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 you know, just you, you, you rang the bell of this uh, destruction without uh, uh, making it verbose, but really making it to the point. And, and we thank you. And just as a point of information, uh, in Greece, uh, similar destruction has happened with the islands because of the tourism. Uh, a lot of um, building and hotels and um, unplanned building, and just creating monstrosities has happened. And, and we are not respecting the landscape and nature, and, and nature takes revenge. Καλτήρα ήταν μια οικολογική ταινία και το χάρισμά τη ήταν ότι ε, δεν ε, ε, έκανε κήρυγμα ενάντια στην οικολογική καταστροφή, αλλά έδειξε, ε, έδειξε αυτό το πράγμα πολύ γλαφυρά. Ε, α, ε, άλλο ένα, ότι, ε, ότι και στην Ελλάδα έχουμε ανάλογη οικολογική καταστροφή στα νησιά. And uh, this is probably uh, a really important point because um, this is just one example how, or one example where you can see it in a really small area. Okay, the Alps are not small, but in different points, how people treat the environment. And as you said, that uh, it's uh, it happened also in Greece with the islands. Um, so and this Spain the, the, as well. and Spain. the same, yeah. Uh, so this is uh, this is a, to a universal topic. So. Um, that's hopefully also if it's a movie about uh, mountains. I hope that that everybody could see that, or well, not everybody, but hopefully somebody could see that there are some connections with other places around this world where the um, the, the way people think they repeat it all, everywhere. It's always the, the it's it's a mix mix mixture between don't recognize what would be good for environment also um, they just want to have more money they want to make more money and now at least here we have a, 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 a bad combination because at one point they want to have more money and they have uh, already had so many uh, investment in hotels and ski lifts and when they do not invest in uh, the the in the artificial snow machines now then they are not able to pay back their credit so it's a really uh, really bad situation because they 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 are they they are cons they have to invest every year every year to to uh, to pay back the other investment so it's just going i mean it's just going down so there's yeah είναι ένα παράδειγμα όπως και σε αυτές τις περιοχές της Άλπης όπου συμβαίνουν αυτά τα πράγματα αλλά και το πρόβλημα είναι οικονομικό και για παράδειγμα η κατάσταση ε, σε αυτή την περίπτωση είναι άσχημη γιατί ενώ έχουν επενδύσει σε ξενοδοχεία ε, θα πρέπει ύστερα να επενδύσουν και στην, ε, στο τεχνητό χιόνι για να μπορέσουν να πληρώσουν τις πιστώσεις τους και οπότε έχουμε ένα 
μια ε, ένα σπιράλ που πάει προς τα κάτω και είμαστε στην ίδια βάρκα. Αυτό που μου έκανε ιδιαίτερη εντύπωση, αλλά πρώτα απ' όλα συγχαρητήρια την ταινία, ήταν πολύ ωραία και μου άρεσε η αντιδιαστολή των εργαζομένων με τους χωρικούς. Ε, Ε, α, αυτό που έκανε ιδιαίτερη εντύπωση είναι με τι άμεση σα μιλάγανε χωρικοί όταν του ε, ήσασταν εκεί και στο, στο, στο χώρο του. Παρόλο που υπήρχε μια κάμερα που του κατέγραφε, φαντάζομαι ότι ήταν συνηθισμένοι σε κάτι τέτοιο. Πώ καταφέρατε να σα ανοιχτούν και πραγματικά να, να μιλάνε σαν έναν φίλο του, χωρί να υπάρχει κάποια κάμερα εκεί. That was the question at the beginning. How long did it? Uh, uh, how long was the research? I said it was eight months. Uh, why in this eight months I visited uh, this persons, all these persons, really often, so really often, and uh, uh, the the old couple, uh, uh, the old persons Because in this. Mom and, 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 and son. And son. Yeah. I uh, I I have been there in October, so uh, I visited them um, more or less every year. I'm there. So I'm sending postcards from where I am. So uh, there, there, uh, there, uh, there were already uh, also friendships which are still, uh, which which are still working. And uh, in that moment, I I tried, um, I tried to explain what I'm doing. I tried not to uh, to tell lies. I did not say oh, I'm making a, a big commercial movie for you and everybody <coughs> wants to come to your place. I did not say that. I said, uh, I, I, um, generally, I said I would like to make a movie about how people survive in a really rough uh, environment. And uh, and um, and for example, uh, there was a screening of this movie in my hometown, and there was a big uh, owner of ski lifts. He owns uh, 28 ski lifts. And he said, that's true. So that's true. So he did not say, how could you show this? No, he just said, that's true. And uh, I... Ε, κατά τη διάρκεια τη έρευνα, όπω είπα, κράτησε 8 μήνε. Πήγαινα συνέχεια και έβλεπα αυτού του ανθρώπου και του μεγαλύτερου. Τη μάνα με, με τον γιο και είναι φίλοι μου. Γίναμε φίλοι μου και του έστελνα και κάρτε από εκεί που ε, ήμουνα. Οπότε πήγαινα συχνά σε, σε αυτού. Και αυτό που προσπάθησα σε όλη αυτή τη διαδικασία είναι να μην του λέω ψέματα ότι, για παράδειγμα, θα κάνω μια πολύ εμπορική ταινία. Αυτό που του είπα ότι θέλω να κάνω μια ταινία για το πώ είναι. Ε, να επιβιώνει κανείς σε, δύσκολα, σε, σε δύσκολες τοποθεσίες. Και μ, στην ιδιαίτερη πατρίδα μου, εκεί στην περιοχή, όταν έγινε μια προβολή της ταινίας και κάποιος που είχε ε, μ, αυτά τα τελεφερίκ ε, και είδε την τε, 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 ταινία, είπε ναι, αυτό έτσι είναι. περισσότερο ε, το τοπίο και όλη την βιομηχανία η οποία έχει παράγει αυτό το τοπίο, αλλά σχεδόν δεν δείχνεται καθόλου ξενοδοχεία, εστιατόρια, μαγαζιά, δηλαδή όλοι αυτοί που καρπώνονται αυτό τον οικονομικό πλούτο. Υπάρχει κάποιο συγκεκριμένο λόγο. Yeah, so, um... For me, was um, everybody. Um, I would I would say that uh, it's obvious that somebody is making money, and um, for me, it was more interesting to be part of persons. Uh, if you go in this industrial world where you see how they, I mean, to be close to the workers and to see how they change landscape. And at, uh, at the other side, uh, if you are in this remote, really um, quiet place uh, where just old people live, to be with them and uh, to see how they are changing landscape. Of course, the, the, the dimension is uh, it's not comparable. Uh, the, the, the farmer there, he's just planting some, uh, some potato, uh, but in the other one, he's, uh, he's blowing up a whole mountain. So, but uh, for me, it was the interesting point was 
to make it easy to see some action and not uh, and not uh, the results. Also, the tourists, the tourists uh, at the end, uh, who are responsible for this? Because if no no tourist, if every tourist would say no, I don't want to have that uh, some mountain get destroyed. I don't want to uh, have a huge amount of energy energy uh, just for the uh, snow uh, snow uh, uh, snow machines uh, if they would not have this d deep desire of liberation in nature uh, then nothing would happen there so um, I, I, I restricted in a small part and um, uh, focused on action let's say it in this way ε, χωρικούς και αυτούς που ζουν στις φάρμες στο χωριό και από την άλλη ε, στους εργάτες που φτιάχνουν αυτό το, το τοπίο. Φυσικά είναι προφανές ότι κάποιοι βγάζουν χρήματα από αυτό, αλλά μετά είναι και οι τουρίστες που χωρίς αυτούς τους τουρίστες, αν αυτοί λέγανε ότι όχι δεν θέλω να συμμετέχω σε αυτή τη διαδικασία καταστροφής του περιβάλλοντος, τότε δεν θα γινόταν. Αλλά αυτό περιορίστηκα σε, αυτές, σε, σε, αυτό το, σε αυτά τα δύο πράγματα. I'm afraid we have to end this session because we have to prepare the screening room for the next screening. A giant thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you to Geta. I have to apologize. Uh, the mobile phone ringing was mine. It was my mother calling me, asking, asking me if everything's okay after the earthquake. It was my mobile phone. You can blame on it. Thank you for giving you after such a filming for you.